Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and today I'm gonna show you how I trim my bangs. Of course, I recommend you going to see a licensed hairstylist, but there are those days. I know there are those days that you are so tempted and probably have in the past, grabbed those scissors and chopped at your bangs. So I'm hoping to give you some tips and tricks on how to cut your bangs safely until you can get into the licensed hairstylist. So if you're interested in how I cut my bangs, please keep watching. So it's been up in a towel for a while. I'm just gonna give it a quick spray down. This is with Schwarzkopf Bonacure Hyaluronic Moisture Kick. And it's by phase, so you've gotta shake it up first. I've already sprayed a little bit in my hair, but I'm just gonna continue in just, just so that my brush and comb works through it easily. I should have a cape on, but I'm too lazy to get it. I'm just gonna put a towel on my knee to catch the hair. Today, I'm gonna part it down the center just to make it easy. I think I'm off center, just a second. I'm kind of one of those people that when I want my hair done, I want it now. That is good enough. This is a beautiful look. I can always tell when I need a haircut because it just starts lying flat to my head and I can't stand the feel of that. I like volume, but I don't like anything touching my face either. So I've noticed that the past few days and it's it needs to be trimmed, even if it's just a little bit. So the next thing we're gonna do is find where I'm gonna part it next. I'm gonna line my comb like this and then I'm gonna go forward, okay? And where that's touching, like you see right there where it's touching, that's where I'm going to part my hair next. There it is, right there. And I'm gonna take my comb and separate it out. Hopefully you have something to clip your hair out of the way. So if you take a good look of where this is landing, it's just outside my brow peak on both sides. Okay, right here and right here. Can you see that? So it's even on both sides. Now there's a couple ways that you can do this. To make it really simple, you can pinch your hair forward, turn it around. You could even turn it around again. Once you clip it up high, there's no growing it back. So I always take it past the tip of my nose and that way when it dries, if it once it shrinks, it's not gonna shrink to a ridiculous length, unless that's what I wanted, but I want long bangs. So I've twisted it and now let's cut. Okay. Let's see where that's landing now. And because I twisted the hair and I brought it into the center, my length out here is going to be longer than in here. And that's what happens when I twist and when I pull. Now I'm gonna take another section, only this time I'm gonna go this way. So I'm gonna section that off here, section it off here, okay? And I'm going to comb it this way. This is called layering, so I'm going to run my fingers out and find the shortest piece. Do you see the short piece there? And then all of this is long. I'm gonna cut the longer pieces to match up to that shorter piece. This is really hard to do trying to teach you how to do it. It's a lot easier when I do it myself. Okay, and now it's even, okay? And I have pinched that to the center. So I've brought all that hair towards my nose. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of this section that I've already cut, and that's also gonna be used as my guide. I'm gonna run it through. And I've got a long hair in there that should not be there. That can go back. I'm gonna over direct it towards my nose. So I'm gonna find that short piece. There's my short piece. There are the longer pieces. I'm gonna over direct it to my nose and then trim off that excess. Okay, let's get this hair right out of the way. We're gonna grab this section now. Okay, and you see that corner? There's a short piece there. There's a short piece there. And now I'm gonna take that edge off. Once I dry it, if I feel like I need to trim it up a little bit more, I can do so. But right now, I wanna see how it's gonna shrink up once it's dry. I'm gonna dry it and then I'll be right back. All right, so I didn't style the ends. I just wanted to show you how the bangs lay. And like we talked about, you can see that this hair goes past the nose and then the outside corners are longer, you see? And that is because, and that is because we twisted and we pulled it to the center and 
just lobbed it off there. And little bits at a time, don't forget, you don't have to go crazy with it, just little bits at a time. And you can even cut it dry if you want so that you can be very aware of where it's gonna land when it bounces back up. Don't forget to layer it a little bit. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe so you can see my upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps and I will see you later. Bye.